Yosef Sin. Well, Shalom. Uh, this morning, I'd just like to talk about the perspective of the Word of God um, and the rapture. Uh, we know that the rapture is going to happen. It's written it's going to happen. But it's very, very important to know when it will happen because we've seen the destruction of many cities and many different, even nations, um, going all the way back thousands of years, hundreds of years, uh, until this present time. And uh, we've been three, through two world wars. We haven't seen any rapture for Christians during these two world wars. We've seen deliverances for God's people and for Christians who have listened to the Lord. Um, who are concerned with his commands, who are concerned with serving him, uh, who want to be preaching his word, who want to actually be praying for his people, the Jewish people, who, who want to be, um, again, uh, you know, preaching uh, to Christians and uh, who are concerned for Christians as well, because at the end of the day, you know, there are seven churches and the last one is Laodicea, and uh, the Laodicean church must overcome their materialism thinking that they're rich and they're not rich at all um, must be rich towards God towards Yahweh but we must be filled with the Holy Spirit that's true riches that's riches in eternity Jesus says we should build riches up in heaven where the moth can't eat um, you know in other words where thieves can't break in and steal um, so I'm always reminded you know if um, I have my things stolen obviously it's not a good thing it's not you know as an attack from the enemy um, or we've not been diligent enough to actually protect our, our stuff or whatever it is but Jesus does say that build treasure up in heaven if somebody asks for a coat or somebody you know give them your coat if you get two coats if somebody um, asks for food give them somebody asks for some money you know you got to provide it um, out with orphans and widows and um, the Lord the Lord's people um, you know um, if we have it and um, it, you know the Lord is not giving us that money for some other purpose like to pay a bill or to uh, put food on the table um, then sometimes if the Holy Spirit tells us to give it we should give it and uh, so many Christians know that there's going to be judgment in the United States this has been prophesied for many many decades now going all the way back to William Brannan when he actually announced in San Francisco that it was Sodom and Gomorrah and um, God would have to judge it or otherwise you'd have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah so Christians from that point have known that the west coast of the United States is is, is, is ready for judgment and uh, and yet Christians um, there are preaching the rapture depend on the rapture and um, again the rapture is true but it's very important it can become a false theology if you're actually putting it in front of keeping the commandments, if you're putting it in front of listening to the Holy Spirit every day. Um, so again, I just reiterate this. I'll post a video. Uh, one is from Shield of the Sun. Um, he spoke about Lot's um, experience, um, his deliverance in the town of uh, Zohar, when the angels came to deliver him and they destroyed the cities. Many cities there were destroyed, Sodom and Gomorrah. I think there were three cities that were destroyed at that time two or three cities um, by fire and brimstone and uh, some of these remains are still left if, if, if you go um, it's actually quite near Israel I believe it's around there and uh, a question as well about the Damascus uh, attack uh, from it's believed Israel now if Damascus becomes a ruinous heap as prophesied in scripture do you think that the Christians are going to be raptured from Damascus or do you only think that it's going to be a rapture for American Christians? Just have a think about that please. Uh, the other video I'll leave is one that I saw this morning. Uh, this man I've been watching for a few months and um, I believe he's walking with the Lord and he's hearing the Lord's voice and um, he's made some, uh, made some good uh, videos and uh, he's been speaking the Lord's word. So I'll leave the link to that video as well to this brother. And uh, finally I'll leave the link to the video that I made about the rapture so we can know that it is real. It will happen at some point. But the real question is when. And I don't think it will happen before um, the Third World War. Um, as, as, as we know that, that probably that time scale, the seven year tribulation will start. 
whenever whenever this um, World War starts because already all the agreements have been signed all the um, peace agreements have been signed by Obama last year 2012 so we're in an overlap it's, it's, it's basically you know we're on borrowed time now and um, if you're not already aware that many towns and cities and nations are going to be judged and yet some of them are going to be completely annihilated if you look at the third world war um, some cities were were very very hard hit let's say in the United Kingdom Christians weren't raptured from there um, the bombing of Dresden basically melted the city when the Royal Air Force bombed Dresden it, it practically uh, melted the city and it's recently been um, deemed a war crime what the actual British did it was it was uh, like a holocaust a German holocaust actually melted annihilated the entire city of Dresden um, were the Christians raptured at that point? Of course they weren't. So, just something to think about, please, and may the Lord bless you.